Hey YouTube family, it's Daughter of the Most High. Hope you're having a good weekend so far. Earlier today, um, I came across a video in my feed from a channel that I have not listened to in so long, and I knew this word was meant for me, and it's actually meant for all of us. So on this channel, um, End Time Prophetess, she shares everyone else's words. Um, and she's got quite a popular channel. It's got 5,000 subscribers, and she shares other people's words. This particular word is from um, the messenger on 444prophecysomething.com. Prophecy I can't find it, but anyway. And so um, this message is powerful, and we all need it. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to read it. Um, on closed captioning and the first sentence of the word which I have up my son write this lesson of words down for all to hear we all need this word guys me I know the Lord was speaking to me today and he's speaking to you now um, so let's go ahead I'm gonna share it with you it's four and a half minutes long so let's go it takes a second to load my children, why do you seek man's knowledge, man's wisdom, instead of your God's insights? Why do you listen to men talk about my holy words, truly what they mean? Why, my children? Why? My children, why did I give you my Holy Spirit? Why? Ask yourselves that, please, my children, for most do not use it, and most will soon lose it. My children, in the book of Matthew, I talk about talents, and what do you think they are? Please, my ones, please use all the gifts that I have given to you. Do not waste them. My children, if you have my Holy Spirit that seals you and dwells inside of you but never use it, you are in disobedience to me. Let me say that again. If you do not use my Holy Spirit that dwells in you, you are in disobedience to me. How come, my ones, how can this be, my children? Please open your Bibles to 1 Thessalonians chapter 4 and read it. My children, if you are sealed by my Holy Spirit but never use it, I will take my gifts away because you are a slothful servant. Why is it, my children, you did not understand? My children, in my kingdom you are my servants. You work for me, and slothful servants I refine and purify. I also hold them accountable for lack of obedience to my holy voice. Open your Bibles to the book of Hebrews chapter 12 and read it. Stop at verse 14 and stay there until you, you get it in your heads. You will have to die for your faith unless you start walking in my holiness. Now go down to verse 25 and read it until you understand. You must obey my voice. Must. It is not something that you either do or I'm waiting for it to change or not. It is mandatory to be raptured. Mandatory. Again, plain as day, my children, crystal clear. Please, my children, start using what I, the Father, your Creator, gave you. Start obeying my voice and start trying to walk in my holiness or die for your faith. Time is short, you, my children, should be seeking me with everything you have, forsaking everything of the world and spending all your time in prayer, reading my words and talking with me. Let me direct your course in all everything, for most do not. They just do not let me into their lives that way. My, my children in Jeremiah 29, 13, I say, seek me, and you will find me when you seek me with all your heart. 
You will seek more for lost keys, lost money, and other things before you seek me, your God. How much, my children, how much am I, your God, truly worth to you, your creator? Ten minutes a day? Two hours a day? Or every second of your life? This messenger now knows the cost, and it can be overwhelming at times, all that I require of him. But it is well, well worth it. To have a working, breathing, life relationship with me, your creator, your father, for when you truly find me, you'll never want to go back into the world. I love all of you, but as all but as always, all are not ready. You're just not willing to count the cost of it all. Your Father God. And then the scripture verses with this word are Matthew 25, 28, Hebrew 25, uh, pardon me, Hebrew 12, 25, and then 14, Deuteronomy 28, 15, and Jeremiah 29, 13. So that's quite a word, isn't it? That is quite a word. It was about halfway through when he said, basically, well, he called us slothful servants, and we are. And let out, what else did he say? Stop at verse 14, and that was, I believe, verse 14 in Hebrews. Let me back up. Yep. Open your Bibles to the book of Hebrews, chapter 12, and read it. Stop at verse 14 and stay there. This is God. I mean, he's wagging a finger at us. Stop at verse 14 and stay there until you get in your heads. You will have to die for your faith unless you start walking in my holiness. Now go down to verse 25 and read it. Until you understand, you must obey my voice. Must. It is not something you either like, eh, do a little, do not, which most of us do. None of us are in complete disobedience. Most believers are not in complete disobedience. We do, we read some of the word, we listen to good YouTube videos, we might talk to our friends about certain things about the Lord. The fact is, is that God is wagging his finger at us. He is going, get this. It is time to get this. Can you hear it in this message? I, can, I sure can. So that's my heart. This is for me. This is for you. And we need to start getting going on this. And if I can just say that... When I made a video, you know, a short time ago about reading the Bible through in 90 days, I said in two weeks at the time of the video, it should probably be after Christmas, um, or right at the, you know, start of the new year, reading the Bible through in 90 days, which is probably at least an hour of reading and listening to the Word every day at least. We should be doing that anyway, you guys. We should be doing that anyway. And so not one taker, not one person expressed interest, nothing. I mean, this is, this is our world. So I'm going to just present that to you again, that let's do this. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it at the start of the new year, that I'm going to read the Bible through in 90 days. And if you want to join me, let's, let's even get a small group going. Let's just get a small group going even, and, and we'll, you know, message each other or somehow stay in contact and start doing these things that the Father is telling us, warning us, asking us urgently to do. He wants us to know him. He wants us safe in the end times. Now there was just a snippet and I'm almost out of time, but it was about midway through this message that he says that you will have to die for your faith if you don't start 
to walk in holiness. Now that is the first I've ever heard that statement. So if we walk in holiness and obedience, maybe we will be, we won't have to get our head cut off. You know, when they invade our nation and the Antichrist emerges and everything else happens. And I know God is there with us because there was somewhere where they had, oh, you know what it was? It was in um, that, I can't remember his name, um, but I'll put it in the comments when I think of it. He has like a two and a half hour, God gave him like this huge um, word about, or not word, dream about the end times and what it's going to be like the second three and a half years of the tribulation. And he said that he and his wife were in line to get their heads cut off because they wouldn't renounce their faith. And he said he had said that his wife didn't feel a thing. The only thing you feel is all of the fear, you know, waiting for that moment. So I'm just about out of time, fam. I'm going to talk to him. My phone shuts off. But um, please consider joining me for the, for the Bible reading for In 90 Days. Let's do it. Let's read through the Bible in 90 days. Let's hear God. Let's finally hear God and really, really honor him. Okay? All right. I'm going to let you go. I was going to talk till the end, but my phone, <laughs> my phone keeps going. So um, I will see you soon, fam. I am stirred up. Be stirred up with me, fam. All right. I will see you soon.